Versatility was the absolute key asset the Guru Gang had in mind when they designed the multi maggot feeders. We needed a feeder that you could fish on rivers, commercials, and still waters, but more importantly, we wanted anglers to be able to use them in line so it's free running with the elasticated X Safe system and also traditionally with a swivel attachment. Here's a rundown on a few more of the key features and I've got a few quirky little tips for you to help you get more from maggot feeders. On commercial venues like Decoy where we are today, maggot feeders play a really important part in the winter months. But at all times of year, it's a great way of getting a volume of bait such as maggots that you can't present on a method or a hybrid feeder to the bottom in a nice tight area with your hook bait close by. One of the first desires the team had when we got together to build the multi maggot feeders was that it was a weight forward design. Like the method and like the hybrid feeder, these needed to cast super straight, very accurately for tucking into little holes against features on far banks. And also, if anglers wanted to, we wanted them to be able to cast a very long way. While on the subject of weight, you'll notice on the actual base of the feeder coming out of the lead are some small grips and they are key for of course river fishing, which along with the low profile of the feeder helps it hold bottom in strong flow. But also when you're fishing on slopes today, I'm casting tight to a far bank, I've got quite a steep slope and I want that feeder to grip and stay in place as tight to that bank as possible. So them little grips on the bottom of the lead help it hold. When we did the research, we realised that maggot feeders are used in loads of different situations at different times of year. And to cater for that, we needed a broad size range. A couple of mini ones for the depths of winter when you're trickling in four or five maggots for crafty fish. A small and medium size, nice to play around with them, control different amounts of baits on average days, all round fishing. And then the large ones, filling them full of maggots on commercials or love them on rivers, get some casters and emping, catching big barbs beastie daddy -os. We played around a lot with how the feeders could actually be loaded and we've settled on a design that allows you to click the lid open from the bottom nice and easily with a little lip or also push down on the top and it actually pops open. That's nice when you're in the groove catching some fish and you need to be efficient. In winter there's nothing worse than fiddling around with little catchy lids that you can't get off. It's quick, it's simple and it's easy. The results that method and hybrid style feeders get on commercials is unrivaled and that's down to having your hook bait right next to the pile of feed. It breaks down, the fish come in to eat the free offerings and yours is right amongst it. And now with the multi maggot feeders fishing them in line or with the X safe system allows you to use a tiny short hook length, three or four inches. Maggots come out of your feeder or other baits for that matter, we'll touch on it later, but yours is right next to them free offerings, absolutely lethal. Of course, in the winter months, you might want to use a longer hook length. Personally, I'd fish the feeders with the traditional swivel attachment, two foot hook length. You just get that little bit of a slower fall. So when fish like skimmers and F1s are watching that bait in clear water, you stand a little bit more chance of them seeing it, following it down and catching them. When it comes to rivers, in match situations I've been in, the traditional swivel attachment will be perfect. I like a two to three foot hook length so the maggots come out of the feeder, wash downstream, right amongst my hook bait. But saying that, I've also experienced a few things this year with Mr. Macy himself. He took me to the Dorset Stour and part of the development process of these feeders, used a short eight inch hook length and caught a couple of the biggest chub I've ever seen. Check them out, they're absolutely huge. Only a month ago, we went to Linear Fisheries where he used the same feeders for tench. Again, little short hook length, fishing them in line, caught two nine pounders. I've never seen fish like it in my life. While on the subject of Dino and specimen anglers, I know what they're all like. They're always tinkering, adapting, cutting things up. And the way multi-maggot feeders have been developed, you can actually cut the slits bigger if you want to. So add a few extra holes, make them a little bit bigger for different baits to be released. The versatility is awesome. Of 
course, you ain't got to use the maggot feeders just with maggots in there. Placing like a worming caster mushing, a few micro pellets presents different baits to fish in the same accurate style. So imagine having some juicy worm and caster mush leaking out of the feeder, little worm head on the hook right next to it. You've got different baits to what you could present on an hybrid or a method feeder in that lethal form of presentation. Another mega little trick that I learned while testing the maggot feeders with a gang was the importance of placing maggots in a band, especially on commercial fisheries. If there's a lot of small roach and pesty fish about, 